Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to Nizzy Sports Chat. I am your host, Nizzy. And in today's video, we're just going to be breaking down uh, the 2021 NFL draft needs for the Green Bay Packers. I'm a pretty big Packer fan, you guys, so I just wanted to go over some of the needs that I think the Packers need in this year's draft, as well as uh, maybe three or four guys that they should take maybe in the first or second round this year. Um, so anyways, let's get into this, guys. So obviously, uh, with the departure of uh, Corey Lindsley, our center in the offseason, he went over to the Chargers. I think we're going to need some offensive line help for sure. I would not be surprised if uh, Goody goes up uh, and picks someone early in the first round there um, or a second round pick. I wouldn't be surprised if we take probably two offensive linemen in this draft just to kind of rebuild our stock a little bit. We did draft three last year. Um, John Runyon did get some running time. Um, the other two, Jake Hansen was injured, or not injured, sorry. He was on the practice squad most of the year. He was the center that played for Oregon. And then we had, uh, can't remember the other guy's name off the top of my head right now. Uh, but anyways, he was drafted last year as well. He came off of Achilles, or not an Achilles, an ACL injury. So he should be ready to go this year as well. But I definitely think we're going to add a couple pieces um, to the offensive line through the draft. Another need I think uh, the Packers need uh, quite desperately here is cornerback. I think we're going to need someone like a running mate for Jair. I think Kevin King's a good solid third option. I think he can uh, give us some decent minutes there as we brought him back this year, as well as Chandon Sullivan. But we need to beef up that cornerback position a little bit. Like, we got to have, basically, if we could have two shutdown corners on the field at the same time, we already have Jair. Um, if we could find another cornerback through the draft who's, you know, on his way to being a shutdown corner like Jair, man, we'll be, we'll be stacked on that corner position. Um, and then, with that being said, then obviously guys like Kevin King and Chandon Sullivan aren't under as much pressure to be guarding the number two. They can be taken on like the number three, number four receiver, slot receiver, um, things like that, giving them a little better advantage compared to going maybe up against competition that they're not quite as good as. So um, next one I think we need to is D lineman. Obviously we have Kenny Clark, our big man in the middle there. Kinsley Keekley, uh, he was injured last year a little bit, but he was having a little better season than his first year. Um, other than that, we're pretty weak on the on the D line. Like we got some good edge rusher, edge rushers, obviously with uh, Preston and Zadarius and uh, Rashawn Gary. I wouldn't even be surprised if they play Rashawn Gary kind of in the inside position and run their uh, NASCAR package a lot this year with having uh, Preston and uh, Preston and Z as well as Kenny Clark and Rashawn Gary there because it's a pretty nice pretty nice four man front. All those guys can can rush the passer pretty well. So that's a good pass rush front. But I think we need to add some uh, interior D linemen who can really defend the rush because that was a major focal point for us. We weren't very good against the run. So definitely got better, but we need to be better still. And then obviously another thing that Packers need, you guys, we're going to need a wide receiver. We have no wide receivers under contract next year. So after this season coming up is over, we don't have anyone under contract. So we're going to need, I'm going to say we're probably going to be picking up at least two wide receivers. Maybe even three in this draft, because I don't know who's going to be... Like, they might extend uh, Valdez Scantling after this season. Obviously, we know Devontae's, like... It's, if they don't extend him, they're crazy. So I would expect them sometime this year to extend Devontae Adams um, as our number one. So I think it's going to be pretty imperative for us to go in and get um, one, maybe even two or three wide receivers in this year's draft. One in the earlier rounds, maybe in the first or second round, we can snag a wide out. Um... And then probably grab one again in the later rounds just to kind of beef up that the roster spots there in the wide out position. So, and then the last position of need that I think the Packers will draft here, maybe even really early too. Uh, there's a couple of really nice Mike linebackers available, but I think we're going to need someone. Obviously, Kamal Martin, Chris Barnes did a phenomenal job last year coming in, but they're both rookies. Uh, Chris Barnes was a rookie as well. He's undrafted as well. Um, so quite. Quite a nice find, to be honest, because he I think he was even better than Kamal last year, um, who was drafted, I believe, in like the fourth or the fifth round. So I, I expect them to actually draft middle linebacker probably early. I wouldn't even be surprised if they go first or second round with the Mike linebacker, especially with the new uh, defensive coordinator, Joe Barry. He likes his middle linebackers, and if you look at what he was doing with the Rams, they had, they had a good linebacking core rate. Right? So I don't think we have a super strong middle linebacking core right now. I mean, our third option is Ty Summers. 
I don't think he's too bad, but he's not great in pass coverage. He's not that fast. Um, I just seen him getting exposed a lot anytime he was on the field last year. So he's, he'd be an all right number four option, but I think we need to get a prime time Mike linebacker to go alongside either most likely Chris Barnes and then kind of have Kamal and Ty Summers coming off the bench um, just to, in substitution positions. So that's what I think uh, the Packers need, you guys. Um, so once again, I think they're going to be drafting offensive line, cornerback, defensive line, wide receiver, and middle linebacker. I think those are the biggest needs. We're good at safety. We're good at tight end. Um, quarterback, obviously, we're not drafting that again. If they draft that again, man, I might not be a fan anymore. I don't know. Like, come on now. So we'll see what happens, you guys. Some of the notable uh, players that I have uh, the Packers going for in the first round are offensive linemen from Oklahoma State University, Tevin Jenkins. He's a 6'6", 320-pound offensive lineman. He plays right tackle. Um, and this guy is a beast, man. Like, if he falls to us somehow, I think he's going to end up going earlier than 29. We'll see, even maybe because we have 10 picks, the Packers might trade like a couple picks away to move up if he's still available because I think this guy is going to be a premium offensive lineman in the league. I was watching some tape on him and his first step off the line is hella quick, man, like hella quick. He reminds me a lot of uh, David Bakhtiari, actually, with how quick his first step is off the line. He just makes it so hard for those edge rushers, edge rushers to get around him because of how quick his first step and how wide of a stride he takes on that first step. Um, so I think the tape, he looks really good and he's just ferocious in the run game. I mean, he loves just bowling people over. He's a big dude. So I would love to get him in the first round if he's still available. I don't know if he is, but if he's not available and we got a couple other positions in need, I think Zaven Collins, middle linebacker out of Tulsa would be a phenomenal pickup as well. I've seen a couple, uh, mock drafts where he's projected to go to the Packers at 29th. Um, and he's a 6'4", 260 pound Mike linebacker. Um, the guy can do it all. He really reminds me of like a Levante David, Fred Warner style kind of uh, middle linebacker where he can really defend the pass well. He's good in the run. He's got quick speed. He's a four down, four down backer. So he's not one of those guys you got to take out and play him in favorable uh, positions where he's either only defending the run or he's only defending the pass. But he can do both really well. And with uh, the addition of Joe Barry as our new defensive coordinator who loves the linebacker position, I would not be shocked at all if they decide to go for Zayvon Collins. So, and then for our cornerbacks guys, I don't know. These guys are projected to go late first round, early second round. So we'll see if the other two, Tevin Jenkins and Zayvon Collins are, I could see them going for Greg Newsom or JC Horn, uh, cornerback at a Northwestern cornerback at a South Carolina. I watched a little bit of tape on these guys. I'm not going to lie. I didn't watch a lot. So I don't want to give you guys too much info because I don't have it. Um, but at least from what I seen on tape, these guys are ferocious players. Um, their intellect is very good, you know what I mean? I was watching Greg Newsom actually, and he really reminded me of Jair just with his ferocity. Um, lots of tackles behind the line of scrimmage, just blowing up those little screen passes. Um, and got some good hands with picking the ball and just got that uh, it's like ball hawk mentality. I seen a couple of plays where he wasn't even near where the fumble was. And because the ball was still laying on the ground, he was able to run across the field, go over there. The ball popped out of the pile, he grabs it, takes it to the house, right? So. Just that ball awareness of he wants that ball in his hands, he wants to get it back for our team, um, I think could be a good addition. And he just seems like a dog mentality, just like Jair, where he's just ready to go freaking take people down, guard him one-on-one, -on -one. he don't care, he's ready to go line up and try and get some picks. So I think he could be a good addition. Um, JC Horn, I think, could be a nice addition as well. He's a little bit bigger. He's 6'1", 205. Um, played, at, played in South Carolina, but he's a nice, he would be a nice addition as well. Both these guys are projected to go like late first, early second round. So I'm not sure if they're going to be available, but if we get lucky and maybe one of them fall back to a later second round pick, we might be able to uh, snag those guys up. And then the last guy I took a look at this morning, you guys, was wide receiver Terrace Marshall out of LSU. Now this one I think is definitely plausible for us to draft because he's a 6'3", 200 pound wide out, um, which is very fav favorable for what Gudenkoos likes. He loves his big wide outs. Um, dude's got nice hands. I seen him making lots of catches in traffic, um, has a real good feel for where the soft spot is on the field. So if he's, you know, got a route that he's supposed to run through the soft spot into coverage, he kind of slows up and just slows down and, and sits in that soft spot. I've seen a few of those plays where he just sits in the soft spot. They zin him the ball and then all of the defenders are out of position. So he's able to just to weave his way through into the end zone. Um, yeah, so a nice big bodied guy, 
might be one of those guys that's capable of going up and just beating his man one-on-one -on -one to go up for the catch because he is a bigger body. So if he's going up on corners that are smaller than him, he'll be in an advantageous position. And we will need a wide receiver for sure. I think he could be a good second round, second round draft pick for us on day two there. Um, I think he'll still be available on day two. So anyways, guys, that's the people that I've looked at so far for the Packers. Would love to get Tevin Jenkins, Zavin Collins. Those are the main two. Those are the main two. I think the Packers need to try and try and get on the team here with uh, their pick in the first round. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, draft's coming up quick here. Hopefully the Packers don't botch it like last year and take another quarterback, or I'm sure we'll all be furious. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below, and uh, thanks for watching the video. This is Nizzy with Nizzy Sports Chat, signing off. Peace. Thank you.